So show me what you mean by this development process. Okay, so we're talking about uh, the life cycle of uh, development. When I say life cycle, what I, the first step in this life cycle is the requirements. That is, I gather information about what the system has to be like. Okay. And then once I gather those requirements, I design a solution. That's my favorite part. The design usually involves coming up with something that we're going to look at, which is an algorithm. The algorithm will be a sequence of steps we identify to realize the solution. And then we will develop it. You mean this is where I build it? This is where you build it. It's both the development is both hardware and software. That is, you build a circuit and you program the circuit in your microcontroller. Are we done? No, because at this point, we have to test it. Oh. Because embedded systems operate in critical environments sometimes, we have to make sure that we test their functionality before okay. deploying it. Okay. So, once we test it, and this testing is usually a repetitive process, we keep testing until we're satisfied, and once we're satisfied, we deploy our solution. So you remember, I make a lot of mistakes. What happens if we make a mistake? Well, fortunately, the process is, has a feature in it that will allow us to fix our mistakes. That is, once it's deployed, we can still come back and look at our requirements and revisit our our decisions that we make, whether the decisions were made in gathering requirements, coming up with an algorithm, developing it, or testing it. So we can repeat the cycle as many times as it takes to develop an effective product. That makes sense. So let's take a look at our first step then, because it's the most important step, which is the requirements. Our product is going to be only as good as the requirements we get for its design. So let's do that. Well, I can think of a requirement. It has to signal SOS. Okay. Signal SOS. Okay. That sounds good. Short, short, short. Long, long, long. Short, short, short. Okay. Short. I'm going to say short, short, short. Long, long, long. Short, short. Sure. That's an SOS. Okay. Um, maybe then we have to ask ourselves, uh, do you, do you pref have a preference for a color? Or what? Ooh. We're going to flash an LED. We want a bright LED. Okay, bright. A bright one, which means uh, I'm thinking a green oh. would be good. Everybody likes green. Green, okay. I can think of one. We only have one battery, so we better conserve power somehow. Okay, low power R and we will make sure that it doesn't flash when it's not needed. So we need to control it. Oh, so you think we should use the inputs? Yes. So we need switches. We need a switch to turn it on. But I don't want to hold it. Okay, so if that's the case, we need another switch to turn it off. Uh -huh. So another switch, so switch one, let's say switch one, because we know there's a switch, switch one to turn it on, and another switch to turn it off. So we'll turn it on when we see an airplane fly over? Yes, or a ship passing by, uh -huh. and then when we don't want to have it drain any power will turn it off by pressing switch 2. Okay, so those are our requirements. Now can we build it? Well, first we have to design it. Oh, we got to design it. So let's design it. 